Today, I saw a comment asking me to do a reading on the election. This is not a place for political arguments one way or the other. I honestly don't care. One thing I would like to start this with, though, I've already said sacred space and called in the quarters, is say that there is a group of us that are international. We've never actually like met, but it's kind of like us. We've never actually met, but we're friends. And we help Earth, uh, the Earth and the humans on a quantum level. So whispering things to, what is his name, Kim jong Yu, Like, wouldn't you rather be known for bringing peace instead of destruction? And I could not tap into the current United States president at all. All I got was dark. So another woman took it and I took that uh, Russia, Vladimir Putin, I took Putin. He was pure as snow, literally. And he is also very psychic and intuitively gifted. He'll invite you right in to the meetings. And if you know how to astral project or remote view, you can go do it as long as your intentions are pure. He has been painted as the bad guy by the same propaganda machine that does everything else. So that's how I wanted to set the stage that the darkness inside our current president is, I didn't, I get to do enough of that when we do true crime. I had no interest in doing it. So another woman did it for me and I did Russia. Someone else did China. There's about, you know, all, all the major countries that have financial backing in a war. So with that being said, I also have gotten that Trump is the right message, wrong person. And what he was doing, his intentions are pure. One thing I don't want to forget to tell you guys is that when the kids in cages fiasco happened, he was literally doing that to check blood and DNA to make sure that people were related because trafficking is a huge issue. They left all of that out and just took pictures of the kids in the cages. Perhaps they could have done a better job about the whole thing, but it's just funny to me that. It's not funny. I get to see it every day. So with that being said, I would like to do a reading on Camilla Harris. Oh, there are not good things going. And see, I don't know who the where it's coming from. The information probably BJ investigates. She's wonderful, phenomenal. I love her. And I haven't really looked into it. But I wanted to do what the intentions were for each candidate for the U.S. election. <laughs> I have so many opinions. <laughs> so why don't we start this off with. I guess, should we do dark side first? Let's do Camilla first. We'll do so we can end on a high note. And this is all for entertainment purposes only. There are no facts here. I'm literally a chick with a tarot deck and a table. I'm not presenting this as fact. If you disagree, that's okay. Pretend that you're an English lit, not on Facebook. And I don't know. Let's start with Camilla. I don't even really like her. She kind of reminds me of like how. Ethan's mother or everything in Canton. So we'll get her out of the way first. What would Camilla Harris like to come? I'll just call her Harris. What would she like to tell us? She's pondering. 
She's backed by money. There's a fight. There's dead children or a dead little boy. Gifts. It's a three person pact. She's being held against her will. There's an overkill card. I have a feeling we're going into a place that I don't want to go. <laughs> she loves outside validation. There's a party. Here's generational wealth. I think she married a BlackRock. Like her husband is the CEO of BlackRock. Something on the board of BlackRock. Here's death. Here's a contract. Oh boy. The Knight of Swords. Okay. So I would say that. And the way that this is looking and the feeling that I'm getting, oh, I need to move you guys over. I don't really like the feelings that I'm getting. And I don't really know enough about it discuss it but I'm going to use our archetype cards what I'm getting is cloning if you don't know what that means you have google and it is very troubling it's disturbing I had gotten that for Biden before too Obama, although I loved him because he's very charismatic, he has the highest death rate of any president of the United States. And there are rumors, or perhaps this is intuitive, that he's running things behind the scenes because I have gotten that the cloned person in the spotlight is not real. And I'm getting that again. It's not cloning and it's like, um, you can do so much with AI. It's like, it's a hologram. That's what I get for him. And I'm getting something very similar with her right now. I did a reading once on Obama's chef that mysteriously died by like shooting himself in the chest and then jumping off of the bridge and stabbing himself like 20 times, those kind of suicides. And I got a oh, hard do not, don't post that. So I never have, but it's concerning. He was about to release a book and was mysteriously unalived himself. Okay. I am getting hard, hard, hard here. That she's a puppet. Okay, I'm going to explain what I can see. I'm going to take a drink first because there's a lot of feelings, like um, messages coming through. All right, this is just a general reading on Camilla. That's what we'll do. I don't know when her birthday is there, but... Two queens here. Okay. So she's thinking about leaving. I'm getting that she's being held against her will. There. This is Manchurian candidate written all over it. That's what this is. That's, I get it. I get it. Okay. So, all right. I got it. So she's thinking, who knows who that is? And she's being held against her will because she signed a contract. She made a deal with the devil, straight up. She wanted power, fame, money, all of the material things. So she signed a contract. The person she knew, the Camilla she was died and she was overkilled. Manchurian candidate written all over it. And what came out of that was, oh, here's death. Huh. Well, 
okay, there's the literal. I mean, we have a dead boy in a coffin. The Manchurian candidate, they do lay down while they're reprogramming them. And she came out of that situation as the queen, just like she bought and paid for with her soul. She really, this new version of her really likes outside validation. Her, I don't know what her family situation is, but there's two three-person packs right here. We have two offers of, oh my, three. We have three offers of take the deal, we'll do the fighting for you. And so she's in the middle of a battle. It's not a fair fight. She got the generational wealth and she's happy with the money. She made a deal with the devil. That's basically what we need to know for her reading. So that tells you, tells me that her intentions well, are not her own. And they are not for the highest good. The good news for us is that the light has won the battle. There's no more battle now. The dark just needs to purge so the rest of us can go on with our lives. This is a facade to carry on an agenda that she is very, very, very tightly woven into because she was held against her will. She made a deal with the devil. She made a personal choice. So in recap, Bork Miller. Actually, why don't we do Donnie now? And What happens when you make deals with the devil? And because of the way energy flows, you don't usually get to fix that in a karmic cycle. In one karmic cycle, you get to come back a thousand more times. Why don't we check Donnie? He's already lighter, so much lighter. I also get that I have gotten that he is of the divine light. Although I don't love his presence and the division he creates, that's a distraction from what his intentions are. His intentions are pure. I've always gotten that his intentions are pure. So let's just do a check in on Donnie, see what we need to know. Well, we just had some jumpers. I haven't even cut the deck. All right, I'll lay out the jumpers. And then I'll cut the deck. Oh. All of the exact, not even kidding, all the same exact cards that Camilla just got almost. Okay. I will explain them. I haven't even cut the deck, so I need to cut this deck, and then we will get into it. All right, these cards are, I wonder if I'm using the wrong deck for this. Shoot, I didn't check either of their birthdays. I I'm getting that I need a different deck. Got a lot of the same cards that Camilla did. We will use our friend Patty's archetype deck. 
I don't I don't really know what deck they I'm getting right now. That's why I'm just kind of playing it here. All right, I need to I need to clear all this and clear this energy and then we'll go back in. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna clear all this. I have to it's too much residual coming over from the other reading. I'm gonna reset sacred space, call in the quarters again, clear the energy, and relay these. See if that worked. Oh, it didn't. All right, I'm gonna try the King of Thrones or the Game of Thrones cards. Oh, these feel so good. Oh, I love them. All right, let's get this going. We're at 16 minutes, so Nine of Spears. He's in a battle. Ten of Swords. That's an overkill card. Oh, the devil's here. These wings. This. I wonder if I need to redo this whole reading. I'm getting this is Camilla's reading. I'm going to pause you. And I'm going to reset sacred space. And I'm going to meditate for a minute and see what we are getting here. And what I need to do to relay the, or to the, yeah, relay the message. ERB. All right. After cutting the deck, the underlying energy that we got is Queen of Spears. This is our Socio psychopath in the other card. These are our archetypes. There are no facts here. Please do your own research. I'm literally a chick with a tarot deck. And I'm not presenting any of this as fact. Please do your own research. You all have Google. And so it's been a long, hard battle. The hermit's always the smartest person in the room, no matter what deck or whatever you're reading on, true crime or regular reading. The hermit's the smartest person in the room. I don't know when her birthday is. This is a Virgo baby. We know that from the Canton case. I'm just doing a regular reading on her just to check in. Okay, why don't we do that? Did I say that? That was my intention. So this, um, all right. So she's the queen of, she, this is the archetype of psychosociopath. And this is the archetype of the smartest person in the room. He is asking us to look at the six of cups. Well, on this deck, they're having fun and drinking. Well, I'm thinking sixes are you've already made your decision. You're putting in the oven. So you're just like content. I wonder if this is a happy home. These people are happy. And this is an emotional card. We have two sevens. One is illusions. Seven of cups is illusions. Yeah, seven of cups is illusion, delusion. And the seven of spears is battle. And it's really clear on here. Four of cups is this spoiled little brat. Maybe she's a, a water sign. That'd be Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. We'd have a ton of cups here. The universe is offering her three options. And in the regular other deck, 
the Rider Waite series, it's a little cloud, but this is a little a woman not taking anything. We have the Knight of Spears. The Knight of Spears, another deck, is already pulled a sword and he's running into battle. He is a hundred percent. We have the weight of two decisions with money behind it. And we have the Queen of Pentacles. In this, it says coins. So I wonder if she made a deal. I'm guessing that's what I'm getting. I'm also getting, I know for a fact, or I know that her husband is highly connected to BlackRock. I think he's on the board of BlackRock. So we have two queens here. We have two sevens. And we have the weight of two decisions backed by money. Sure. I'll look at Miss Patty's archetype deck and see. Right now, this is just looking to me like She made a deal with El Diablo. That's what it looks like. She made a deal for money. I don't know why. Her husband's loaded. I'm guessing. If he's a, on the board of BlackRock. And if you don't know what BlackRock is, you have Google. Please check it out. It will be a rabbit hole once you can start figuring it all out. Oh. The forest and the castle. Oh, the hermit and the forest go together. Oh, I didn't show you guys this. Here's the castle. That could be the queen of coins or the queen of spears. Here's the forest that goes with our hermit. We also have the hunter that goes with our knight of spears. The sword that goes with our seven of spears. A mask. So I just did a reading on this. I got really hard. Um, what's it called? Hieroglyphics. 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 And okay, we have an apo apo apocalypse here. Oh, because it's the fall of the dark side. Yes. Okay. Okay. Yes. The shapeshifter. This is what I literally just got. In the womb, the womb is the dumping ground for humanity's problems. Every woman's womb. Okay. Yeah, the creator of Diablo. Yikes. Okay. Oh, does it say enlightened? Oh. Yeah. This looks like duality. Okay. So just a general check-in on Camilla looks to me like, I mean, we have shapeshifter and mask right here. If anyone knows anything about the royal family in England, there's centuries old rumors about them. Is it the Anunnaki that are reptilian? And that's totally okay. Because uh, we're dealing here on a metaphysical level, much higher than our 3D suits. We are dealing in esoteric, definitely not of a human level. We're dealing, we're about five layers higher than this meat suit. On an esoteric level, I will say, what I'm getting very hard here is that we'll take that soul and give you whatever you want in this material matrix. That's an illusion. It's a hologram. This is the hunter. The DreamWorks logo is a great example. It's a little boy fishing on the moon. 
could call it souls. You can call it whatever you want. This is her castle. She got the material goods. And here's the apocalypse. That's the fall of the darkness. Well, I would say that things for Camilla are, I mean, she's has about 7,000 lives to make up this. If she, I don't know how, uh, I guess you would call that a lost soul. Because once the darkness doesn't need you, it spits you out. Well, in conclusion, things for Camilla, she doesn't, uh, she has a mask on. She is wearing a mask for the weight of a decision that she was backed by money. Give us, yeah, give us your soul and we'll back you. She pondered it and she thought about it. She, I don't know if she thought this was that great of an idea, but they they chased her down and they fought her for it. And it's an illusion that drinks with her friends or a happy family are not going to solve. And the shell is the queen of spears. She's a queen. She makes decisions. It's also the archetype of a psycho and sociopath. So Camilla made a deal with the devil. Let's check Donnie. I'm going to use the regular deck. Oh, I'm going to clear this space too. Okay. Let's go into Donnie, see what he'd like to tell us. We're just doing a check-in. checking to make sure you guys can see this. Okay. The High Priestess. We have the Knight. We have the Two of Swords. Battle. Star. Held against his will. Pondering. The Moon. Secrets that'll never come out. Justice. Temperance. The Emperor's here. Oh man. The Lovers are here. Okay, and the Empress and the Sun to shine light on everything. King of Swords. Right now, when you vote, if you're in America, if you're not, thank you. <laughs> you feel grateful. I think that I don't know what's going on with Donnie. I have done readings on Donnie before. That he, this is more channeled, that he was divinely chosen. And he, it's like the right message, wrong person. But this isn't looking good for Donnie. And I just mentioned this in the last reading, but I don't know if I'm going to post it. So I'll tell you real quick. There's a group of women and I that are all over the world. And we basically use remote viewing and astral travel to help the leaders of the world not kill each other because we'd all like to really get this meat suit lesson done and I don't want to do it a million times and so things like for Kim Jong Kim Young Kim Young Lee or Kim Young Ji the Chinese leader whispering like wouldn't you rather be known for peace instead of destruction I couldn't tap into our current president so another woman did it for me, but I could tap into that uh, Putin and he's like white as snow. I know that's going to be not a very popular opinion, but if you know how to astral project and remote view, he'll invite you into the meetings. You can watch him while he works. He'll just sit there at his desk or if he's in a meeting, he's highly intuitive. The propaganda, if unless my one of our friends from outside this country tells me that he's really bad on an international stage. I think it's just part of the propaganda machine that's only saved for the Americans. Our news is very different. But what this is, so anyway, Trump, I have gotten that he is divinely chosen. 
what this looks like, though, is he might have gone down the same road that Camilla did recently. I don't know if his energy has changed lately. I stay out of that. Because it's all fake anyway to me, in my personal humble opinion. My grandmother's friends did the right to vote, but that was a different time. I am getting, well, the emperor's here, or Donnie. I didn't, that's disappointing. I didn't expect that. If anyone knows if his energy's changed recently, like in the last year, let me know. Because it looks like he was stuck between a rock and a hard place. They backed him into a corner with his financial stuff. I know that. We have the moon here. My holding of uh, the moon is secrets will never find out. So the emperor is here and his wife is here too. The emperor and the empress. This is as high as you can go. This is the leader of the dark side. It's not good for us. At least if one, I don't know. If anyone's getting something different for Donnie, I have always gotten when I did readings on him or channeled readings that he was of the light. Right now, it looks like he was backed into a corner, stuck between a rock and a hard place. And he might have done some things that we'll never find out about. We also got this held against his will for Camilla. We have this psycho sociopath that's the type of the King of Swords. I mean, we have justice here. It's a 3D suit. If we didn't have the emperor, I would say this is going well. That the emperor is here for a reason. And we have temperance. This is an angelic. It is the most angelic card you can get. This is the Archangel Michael card. In reverse, it's the prince of this world. And Archangel Michael, I would expect to be with our divinely chosen anyone. Where is our... No, though. The high priestess is here. She's your intuition. She's your ride or die. Like, perhaps... Don't get into this battle. This isn't your battle to fight. Sun is shining everything on here. And the star is like a rising star. The three of wands is pondering, is thinking. And the nine is just waiting to watch what's going to happen here. The battle's over. He has a six of cups. This is like a fam happy family. And we have the lovers and the king of cups. I think something just happened with Mel Melania. So, uh, check in for Camilla and Donnie. Just now, I think that they gave into temptation, earthly temptations, and perhaps she, we got confirmed, definitely sold her soul to the dark side and the dark side is his leader too if anyone has anything different on donnie for the last year let me know i was going to do an election outcome after because i was hoping we'd have the duality of dark and light and we don't there's no duality right now they're both dark right now i mean certainly anything could change at any minute that could change in right now he could do something different she could do something she can't that's too that's ship sailed but he could so for the outcome of this i don't feel comfortable to, i'm i first of all don't like to predict with tarot because we have free will down here it's the best part we get to make our own decisions and free will you can change whatever path you were on and right now neither one of these are going to be good for the country that's what it looks like at this exact moment 
this is something I'm going to start keeping an eye on. I'm a little concerned. I thought for sure we had light and dark battling. And right now we don't. Right now, this is a, the darkness is one last push. I will, I'm going to go back into this, just not at this exact moment. Because it can change any time. I mean, we just did a months-long investigation on Canton, and one of our suspects has already flipped. So it's an example of free will. So with that, I will love you and leave you. If anyone has any different, if you're getting anything different, any other vibes, I don't really want to know what other readers are getting. I mean, I do. I, I'm, I'm getting, I want to know what you feel. Does it feel like both sides are on the fighting for the dark side? Or are you feeling like I got that wrong? It's pretty hard to argue, though. The emperor is here. That means one thing. It always has meant one thing. Maybe there's something else that I'm missing, but I'm open to your suggestions. And if you have any other thoughts or ideas, the projection of the elections, I don't, I don't make predictions. I can tell you based on the energy today, what might happen. That's what I'd be more comfortable doing, but I don't feel comfortable doing any of that right now. Because I'd like to sit with this and see what we just picked up. That was not what I expected to see. So I will love you and leave you. And I will see you guys next time.